What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the oxygen sensor. What is the oxygen sensor? How does it work? And uh, what does it do? And all these components, they come together to do something in your vehicle and uh, something that will give up over time. So you're going to end up doing replacing this oxygen sensor, okay? So today's video, we're going to explain and understand what oxygen sensor is and how does it work and what's the function okay so let's talk about the little bit of diagram here over here we got our engine let's say it's a four cylinder engine so we got two oxygen sensors so if you have a six cylinder or eight cylinder v-shaped engine you're gonna have probably more than two four it could be three some nissans have three i believe but anyways we got an engine, we got an injector here, we got the intake, so the air comes in, the injector throws in gas, and it goes out the muffler, a exhaust manifold through the manor exhaust system. These sensors are inside your exhaust system, okay? So there's two of them here. In between, you have the catalytic converter, ECM, engine control module. It's like the brain, okay? So let's get this thing on. So this is an oxygen sensor, okay? So we got a upstream and a downstream bank one sensor one bank one sensor two you would call that be another name air to fuel ratio okay that's some of these sensors are called air to fuel some of them have one wire and that one some of them will have two and but it's a common to have four wires those are heated oxygen sensors anyways so your engine is running over here and it shoots out exhaust so the job of this oxygen sensor here is to determine the emission, okay? Pretty much, you have oxygen here and outside oxygen, inside oxygen. So it's going to try to determine whether your car is rich or lean, okay? Having too much of oxygen in here, let's say, let's just add a few more, okay? Too much, O2. O2, oxygen, oxygen, having too much oxygen, it's going to determine, it's going to give it a, it's, it creates a voltage signal that goes to the computer, okay? Let's say a 1 volt or, or a 0.5 volt, okay? It's going to send a signal, okay? So, voltage will drop if you have too much of oxygen, it's going to drop and it's going to pop up a lean code and it's going to send a signal to that computer what the computer is going to try to determine is it's going to send a signal to your injector here to cut off the fuel or, or add fuel depending on what it what kind of signal it sees from here if it sees it's too much it's lean it's going to try to reach it up it's going to shoot it's going to give it a command for the injector to open a bit more so it can shoot more fuel into the system so this is just a basic we don't want to go crazy detail we could talk a whole bunch of stuff for all day all week maybe but we don't want to do that so voltage will drop so let's say you, you let's say um it has a uh, less of a oxygen okay it is going to compare from outside to inside here that would be it's too rich it's less of oxygen in there and it's gonna send the signal it's rich that means the voltage is gonna go up it's gonna send a high voltage to the computer computer is gonna determine okay it's too high whoop back to the injector too much it's getting too much fuel cut it off try to lean it up a bit so it can equalize and that's how that works so two two so outside inside it does matter what this uh, sensor is determining. So if your sensor, let's say you're driving and they're building a new road, asphalt, that black tarp gets on your sensor because it's in the bottom, mud, all kinds of stuff, it can throw a faulty signal, okay? So that's done. This oxygen sensor has been uh, determined what it does. Okay, it does, um, it has three jobs there, okay? Lean, rich, and what the, so pretty much it can control the fuel on your engine, okay? Fuel economy, that matters, okay? Anyways, going further, let's go further. That mission goes through here. This is a catalytic converter. So the second sensor there, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna determine 
how much oxygen here and how much is over there, okay? So he's gonna determine the emissions, compare it with this one to that one. The, the brain here determines that, okay? The ECM, engine control module. It determines the signal from here and signal from here. Okay, this also gives a voltage or a reference signal here to the ECM. But this one does not control your fuel here, okay? This one is simply to determine if your catalytic converter is doing its job, okay? The computer will compare the signal from this sensor. Okay, let's say, if we're gonna do another video on how this catalytic converter works, so the job of this sensor is to determine if your catalytic converter is good or bad, but all it does is it picks up the emission and creates a signal to the computer and the computer determines and it will throw on a, let's say your catalytic converter is bad, it's not doing its job, P0420, that'd be the code for the catalytic converter, bad catalytic blow threshold, okay, it could be a lot of, but these sensors do tend to get dirty over time, so I will be doing videos, I have done videos on how to clean oxygen sensor and we will do, get more into detail with that, but anyway guys, uh, hopefully was able to explain to you guys the function of this oxygen sensor, we don't want to talk voltage because a lot of people would get a bad idea. Okay, I have a, let's say 5 volt and then it is given 2.5 or 1 or 0.5. We don't want to get, get into a number where uh, you would try to diagnose a car regarding what kind of voltage this is given. Okay, it could be different on different vehicles. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching my video and hopefully you understood the function of this oxygen sensor, what it does. And it is a big function in your vehicle, okay? Big function, okay? And uh, without this, you wouldn't have a, a perfect fuel economy. You wanna, it's, this gotta be there, okay? It's gotta be there, okay? So things are just getting better and better. So the computer are controlling things and better, better. But the computer needs to know what's going on. And these sensor does their job. There's other sensor that control fuel, like crank sensor. Well, crank and cam would compensate when to give it a fuel, okay? But anyways, depending on the stroke, uh, the timing. Anyway, guys, don't want to go that far. We'll do more videos than that. Thank you for watching and have a great uh, rest of your day. See you guys in the next one.